The president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, also released the statement on Friday about the Manafort plea deal. Quote, once again, an investigation has concluded with a plea having nothing to do with President Trump or the Trump campaign. The reason the president did nothing wrong and Paul Manafort will tell the truth. Then they in, 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 issued that statement again, except they took out the Paul Manafort will tell the truth uh, part of this. Do you think that they're paving the way, Rudy Giuliani, for attacks on Paul Manafort's credibility? Does it send a signal that they're worried about what he might say? How would you interpret that? Well, the playbook, as I describe in contempt, I mean, I think that the uh, Trump White House and the lawyers are taking a, a page from the Clinton playbook, you know, attack the prosecutor. This is more delicate because now you have someone very close to the president, at least for a while, the campaign manager. So I think it's you've got to be very careful. But on the other hand, the real significance of what's happened is we're much closer to getting the truth than we were before this plea. It is so terrific for uh, the investigation and frankly for the American people that we're moving forward. We're getting someone who may be knowledgeable. We don't know. We don't know what Bob Mueller knows. We don't know what B Paul Manafort can share. But there's a key word in that uh, agreement, which was truthfully and then there was another key word, fully. And that's what we really need to do. Now, thus far, these signs are there is no evidence that Paul Manafort is going to bring forward of collusion. But we'll see. Uh, President Trump has certainly signaled that he is thinking about uh, possibly pardoning Paul Manafort. Um, do you think he should? And what do you think the repercussions would be if he did? Well, I think it would be unwise uh, Why? for the president to do that because the process of justice has occurred. I don't know of any justification for pardoning uh, an individual who just stands convicted of very serious crimes and who just pled guilty to serious crimes. So it doesn't look as if there's a miscarriage of justice. The president does have the plenary power to do that, but I think it would just be an imprudent decision. Do you think, based on having been a prosecutor, do you think that it's likely that Robert Mueller is wrapping things up, or do you think he might be opening up a whole new avenue? We have no idea. Well, as I recount in my book, I thought I would be through in six months, because what can be so serious about a failed land deal in Arkansas that had been investigated before? But what one finds out in getting into an investigation is, oh my word, there are different avenues that come to you. Ultimately, the Monica Lewinsky phase, which came to us as a complete surprise. Attorney General Reno authorized that. So we just don't know. We're behind the veil of ignorance, uh, Jake. A lot of times, uh, the president's defenders will actually cite you when talking about out of control prosecutors, fishing expeditions, perjury traps, et cetera. How do you respond to that? Well, as I tell in this book, I tell the whole story of the demonization that the Clinton White House and their surrogates carried on. It was a campaign of, of demonization, not just of yours truly, but people in uh, the investigation and the like. Just It was this show no quarter, take them out. Uh, Hillary the, difference, the only difference perhaps being that, that President Trump himself is leading the charge here, whereas President Clinton had other people do it for him. For the most part. Yeah. But there were critical times, for example, after the conviction of Jim and Susan McDougall, and then some signals that uh, Bill Clinton was sending to Susan McDougall, who stood convicted of, of fraud, very serious uh, crimes that brought down a savings and loan and so forth. But you're right. Bill Clinton had a very different style, charismatic, attractive, and so forth, whereas Donald Trump uh, just comes out direct at you as a New York street fighter. Do you, do you think that President Trump will face the same fate of President Clinton, which is impeachment? I hope not, because one of the lessons in the book is impeachment is hell. The country should not be taken through that. The founding generation wisely knew that it was such a serious act that it should require a, a two-thirds majority in the Senate. Unless there is a growing national consensus that impeachment is proper, it's doomed to fail, and it's just the wrong way to go. And it's very good. So, you, so you're happy that President Clinton was not removed from office? You think that it worked the way it should have? I think the system worked. Uh, how would I have voted as a senator? I think I would have voted to remove him. But I can understand full well the interests of the American people and then you know, a significant number of the senators who just said, this is not directly related enough. What he did 
They were crimes, but it's not directly related enough to his conduct of the presidency. And that may happen here. We'll, we'll see. Mm -hmm. All this that is related thus far has to do with things that happened before the president of the United States, Donald Trump, was sworn in. Uh, Brett Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court nominee, uh, worked for you uh, yes. while, while you were doing the impeachment proceedings, et cetera, while you were yes. gathering evidence. I, I want to ask, what was your, I know you support him for, for Supreme yes. Court. What was your reaction when you heard about this anonymous allegation uh, about him by a, a woman alleging that in, that in high school uh, there was serious sexual misconduct, if not attempted assault? As someone who's interested in process and fairness, obviously any allegation is of this kind of nature is an unfortunate, serious allegation. But to be honest, I was outraged about the timing as well as the process that the letter from something long ago was in the hands, and you covered it very well, of the Democrats in July, and yet there was nothing done about this. I just think it's too late for there to be any serious uh, consideration at this stage. It's sort of the the matter has adjourned. You had your opportunity to come forward and you failed to do that year after year after year. The book is Contempt, a memoir of the Clinton investigation. Ken Starr, thanks for being here. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it.